Maybe he doesn't hit you, but he decides what you do and who you talk to. He decides where you go on the weekend and where you go after work. Maybe he doesn't hit you, but he robs you of the future you wanted for yourself. It becomes the future he feels you deserve. He reminds you that you work in a dead-end job, that your failures are a result of your lack of motivation, your lack of self-discipline, your lack of intelligence, and your pretentious nature. You should feel happy to have him as a role model now, because he's the only one putting forth any effort, because without him, you'd be nothing. Maybe he doesn't hit you, but he strips you of your life. He takes away your freedoms, your relationships, your hobbies, as though they're a bad paint job or a bad dinner. He takes away your right to feel. Every emotion becomes something to question, something to be afraid of. Don't be sad. Don't be angry. Don't be happy. He laughs when you cry, and he tells you that you shouldn't be crying. And when he gets done laughing, he gets tired of hearing you cry, and you better shut your mouth before you make him feel bad about himself, or that will be hell to pay. Maybe he doesn't hit you. You are made to sit so still and so expressionless that three words have become your ultimate nightmare. I am allowed. He is allowed to be angry. He is allowed to flirt with whoever he wants. He is allowed to yell. He is allowed to laugh at you. He is allowed to be sick of seeing you. He is allowed to do whatever the hell he wants, but you better sit still, shut up, and try not to make that face he hates. Maybe he doesn't hit you, but his mistakes are your fault. He makes you afraid to speak because he's taken away your right to say what's on your mind. And what would be the point? Because he hears what he wants to hear, and that's what you are punished for. Maybe he doesn't hit you, but he makes you seem like the enemy to your friends and to your family. Because if you're the enemy, then he's the hero. And the world thanks him for being so kind and so brave and so selfless. Maybe he doesn't hit you, but he tells you that you should feel grateful, but he doesn't. He touches you, grabs you, molests you while he thinks you're sleeping, while drunkenly whispering in your ear what he hates about his life with you, how he wishes that you and his life would change. His hands are all over you, but it's okay because he knows you would have said yes if you were awake. He reminds you that he didn't hit you, he didn't rape you. Do you honestly believe he's the kind of guy who would do something like that? How can you make him feel like that? Maybe he doesn't hit you, but he asks you why you didn't defend yourself when you were raped. He asks you why you didn't call the police. He tells you it's hard to believe your story because you didn't fight back. He tells you he gets it now. He gets why someone would rape you. Because you're weak and worthless, and if it wasn't for him, nobody would love you. Maybe he doesn't hit you, but he yells. And he yells that he's not yelling. And don't you dare tell him he's yelling or he'll really yell. And you don't want to see him yell. Maybe he doesn't hit you, but he makes you wish he would. Because then, maybe finally your family and your friends would offer their help instead of saying, oh, that looks like a bad couple to me. Maybe they wouldn't joke or undermine the problem anymore. Maybe you'd finally find the strength to beg anyone, anyone at all, for an out. Maybe he doesn't hit you, but he might as well. Maybe he doesn't hit you, but what's the difference? <laughs>